Yes, go on. <laughs> Here's a basic definition of a servo. It's a device that produces motion in response to a command, then regulates the speed and direction of that motion in response to feedback. You'll find servos in use on automation systems that require motion with precise control and especially in systems that need very swift response to commands and exact fidelity to position requirements. The world of industrial servos is a very diverse one. Some servos are hydraulic, some are pneumatic, and others are electromechanical. In recent years, industry has moved more and more toward the use of AC servo systems. AC, of course, refers to the alternating current waveform in the motor during operation. The AC servo system involves two basic components, the servo amplifier and the servo motor. The servo amplifier takes in low voltage commands for torque, speed, or position, then amplifies them into a high powered format that the servo motor can use. A servo motor is much more powerful than other motors of the same size. Powerful magnets make servo motors exceptionally quick and accurate. A feedback device called an encoder is built into the servo motor at the back end. Now this is an example of an optical encoder. It's a disc mounted on the motor shaft. As the motor rotates, small photosensors detect lines on the disc. The electrical pulses from the photosensor are sent back to the amplifier. The amplifier uses the data to control the motor's position, speed, and torque. 